Hey, what's up guys? It's Shorty with Table Syrup. In this quick video tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys basic configuration and setup of Waves Multi-Rack Sound Grid. Once you've installed Multi-Rack Sound Grid, device drivers, and Sound Grid plugins on your system, launch Multi-Rack Sound Grid. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Preferences menu. Under the General tab, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is select the local LAN port that our switch or hardware is connected to. Once we've done that, we'll see that the link status is up, meaning that multi-rack is now connected to the SoundGrid network. Go ahead and click OK at the bottom of the window to close preferences. Now let's take a look at SoundGrid inventory. This is located under audio in the top bar, SoundGrid inventory from the drop-down menu. From here, we'll see all the IOs, drivers, and servers that are available on the network. With the assigned column on the left, we can choose which devices we want to use in our multi-rack setup. The settings button next to each I.O. opens the control panel for that device. Here we'll take a look at the DigiGrid MGB MADI to SoundGrid interface. The update button next to each device runs the firmware check. This can be done for I.O.s as well as servers. The network latency box is where you choose the buffer size of the SoundGrid server. And 48K, 40 samples means 0.8 milliseconds, 56 samples means 1.2 milliseconds, and so on. Each server has a different recommended network latency setting. And finally, the driver latency, if you're actually using the driver in your setup. And that's it. Watch the next episode to learn more about routing in the SoundGrid network. For more info, visit www.waveslive.com.